and I'm going to show you how to draw a soccer ball to celebrate the Canadian women's gold in the Olympics. The supplies you need to do this are, I'm going to use a black sharpie, but if you have a black marker that will work too. Some painting paper or regular paper. Uh, something round to trace to make the soccer ball shape and I chose a paper plate. And if you want to start your drawing with pencil and eraser, that would be great. Go grab your supplies and let's get creating. I'm going to start by tracing this round plate. I'm just using a paper plate because I find if you use Sharpie with uh, regular bowls, then it's kind of permanent <laughs> so it doesn't come off. There we go. So we've got our round shape and it's pretty big. It's taking up most of my paper. So now we're going to do a pentagon, which is a shape with five sides and kind of looks hard at first, but it's actually pretty easy. So we're going to do a big, huge in our center of our paper. I'm doing a big, huge kind of roof. And then, uh, and you want to make it really big. I'm even going to make it bigger. You want it to take up quite a lot. And then we're going to angle in these two sides. So it's a roof with two sides that are angled in and then a bottom. So there's our first shape. Now to do the rest of them, it's super easy. We're going to do a line coming from each point. And the line is going straight out like you picture if there was like a ruler going through that that point and again we're doing it very big like you, you're not going to be at the sides but you're going to be almost at the sides and then you go around and you put a roof on all of these so I'm going to do a roof here and a roof here and you can turn your paper if it's easier I'm going to keep my paper not turned so that you can keep seeing. And a roof here and a roof here. So it kind of looks like a flower shape. So we have our shape in the center. And then look, we've made pentagons all the way around that shape. Now the next step is super easy. All you do is wherever there's a connecting line. So here you see there's a line. We're just going to make a line like that. And then at the point, we're going to make a line. And there, make a line. So we're just going to keep making lines all the way around, attaching to the side. Like so. Okay, so next, what we're going to do is we're going to color in this first one we made. So we're going to color it all the way in. We're going to color it black. Soccer balls are black and white. So I'm going to fast forward this while I color. Now it's really starting to look a little bit like a soccer ball. So the next step for coloring is we're going to skip this row that looks like the flowers and we're going to go to this row on the edge and we're going to color every other one black. So we're going to start with this one. I'll put a little, I'll just start coloring each of the ones that you're going to color black and then I'm going to fill it all the way in just so you can see like that. Okay, so it's Every other one is black. Okay, so you color, skip one, color, skip one, like that. And I'm gonna fast forward it. So there's my soccer ball. Now you can leave it just like that if you want, or you can have fun with the background. You can do patterns, you could do some lines to make it look like it's like being moved. You can do some sponge painting. I have some gold here. It's called spun gold. And because the Canadian um, women's soccer team won gold in the Tokyo Olympics, 
I'm going to put some gold in the background. And I think I'm going to use, I have a sponge. I'm just going to sponge the background with gold. And you can add, you can just paint the outside any color you want. Or you can do anything really. Find something that will make some texture with some paint. You can use watercolors. Just have fun with it. I kind of like this gold. Makes it quite fun. These are some, I forgot I had this texture tool, but I kind of like it. I don't know, it just makes it look more interesting. But yeah, if you only have markers, then just color in with the markers. And I keep going. Here's my finished soccer ball. So beautiful with that gold background. I hope you like this video and subscribe to this channel. And I can't wait to see your creations. <laughs>